uh, Major and uh, Laney, this is Paul. Uh, this is your trailer. And I think we might have already discussed it, but uh, I just wanted to get confirmation of what you want to do with your trailer, if anything. Um, your trailer, when we got it, um, your boat sits on these bunks back here and is, is largely unsupported. It is, your boat is unsupported from this point here to up here. As a matter of fact, it's not supported at all up here. Uh, I think we put, when we brought it, we put a scrap piece of wood up here and so that your keel could sit on this member, uh, this cross member, and not bounce bounce and hit the cross member as you go down the road. The other thing of concern is this, um, this uh, bow stop. We would recommend, we do recommend this style of bow stop that we build and the reason we recommend this style of bow stop that we build uh, is um, is uh, because we can touch the boat with the stop way out up here, uh, where you have a very wide target when you're loading the boat at the boat ramp. Uh, it's also adjustable with this what's called a top link. This is actually a turnbuckle. Uh, that's used in on a tractor uh, on a three-point hitch. And uh, that way, uh, you can snug this up against the front of your boat or back it away from the front of your boat just a little bit after loading. The other thing we can do to support the boat instead of like that piece of wood that we have is on, the, on your trailer is we could add a, uh, we could add a roller up, up in front. Um, but the the target bunks are the best option. Let's see if I've got a target bunk trailer around here that I can show you where we where we modified an existing trailer to put target bunks. Um, not these. <laughs> not these. I've got to keep looking. Um I may have to actually go outside to show you where we've done that. Yep, apparently I am going to have to. So I will... I'll go outside and take a picture of that. It'll be a separate little video. Um, but let me show you what happens or what can happen uh, if we don't change your bow stop um, and so this would be what you're would be protecting against uh, with uh, one of our bow stops I'm still looking for that trailer that we modified I believe it's outside unless that trailer already went off to the promised land went off to the owner's house I don't recall but I have what's called the show and tell board in our in our office, and uh, I can show you what happens to the, what can potentially happen to um, the bow of your boat. Of course, yours is plywood, so it would be very tough to repair if the boat gets sideways on the trailer while you're hunting for that little bitty target. Let me. Let me zoom in on this guy right here. So that's a plank off of one of my boats. I now, I now have a wide target. Uh, I have, but this is a, a plank, which the plank, you know, we were able to replace the plank uh, and get rid of the damage that was done by the bolt that holds that rubber, uh, that very narrow rubber target on. So, uh, you know, imagine doing that to your plywood uh, on the front of your boat. That would be very difficult to repair um, and make it look right. You know, you'd have to, we'd have to put a backer behind it, fill it full of filler, and it's gonna be forever a gouge, uh, a visible gouge. 
So um, I, rec I recommend the, the, our goalpost style ball stop for that reason. Uh, I'm going to go out and try to find that trailer that we modified. Target bunks is the best method, and I'd like to show you that.